Hello, and welcome back to another video, where today, as you can see, we're doing some more breaking point. And as the usual, I'm being interrupted by a call. Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing major, really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team, and, uh, but I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but... Um, well, we've got something in the pipeline, a potential new driver and a damn good one. Who is it? I can't say, not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble, but if they agree, we could have something special. Nice. And, um, how is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidoff has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good, that's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later, Casper. Well, as you saw that, despite Devin and Aiden having their battles, Aiden still asks how he is. But now it's time to go on to the next chapter. But before we do that, we have to answer a few questions. Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Why are you hesitating? You've always dreamt of racing in F1. Not like this. Do you know what he did? Oh, who? Your father? He refused to support me. Said he'd only fund one of his children. Said Devon had better prospects. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that. Mum used the divorce settlement to help me out, but... And you're only here because he sent you? No. This was my idea, my decision. And this is me asking you, Callie, not your father. We need a replacement and I ask for you because I know how good you are. And that's the truth. I always said I'd do it on my terms, not his. I'll look out for you, just like I did in F2. Will you keep him away from me? I'll do everything in my power, everything, to make sure that all you have to think about is driving. Have we got a deal? You might never get this opportunity again. You know that. Could you take a look at this, please? Well, once again, not once again, but as we saw there, Callie May doesn't want uh, her father to have anything to do with her career. So she's now asking uh, her, oh, what's his name again? Casper Ackerman. Oh, we're interrupted by. Abidon, they stopped me entering the garage just because Callie's in there. It's ridiculous. We've had this conversation. You need to give her space. I'll humor you for now, Ackerman. But I don't like being told where I can and can't go around here. Don't forget, you talked me into this. What does that mean? Talked you into what? Signing Callie in the first place. I'm just allowing you to take credit for it, that's all. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to blame me. Well, if you're right about it, there'll be no blame to allocate, will there? Anything else? You're a busy man. I'll let you go. Well, as we saw, uh, Devin Davidhoff was restricted entrance into Kalimer's garage because she wanted nothing to do with him when she when she was in F1. And now it's time 
to go to the next race, which I think is in Azerbaijan, and we are racing as Kali Mayer, the new Connor Sport driver. History is made here today as Callie Mayer, Connor Sport's latest signing, becomes the first female driver of the modern era to participate in an F1 race. What a moment. I've got goosebumps. Now, for those of you wondering at home, only a handful of women have entered at least one Grand Prix over the years, but none have even had the opportunity to qualify since 1992. Italy's Giovanna Amati, for those of you wondering. So today is very much a new dawn here in Baku. And Maya was impressive in qualifying. So let's see what the Grand Prix has in store for her. Yeah, I have to say, it is quite a tight-knit pack out there. Fierce competition all round. I really wouldn't want to call this one. Indeed. We've seen some brilliant driving here today, especially from young Callie Mayer. She seems to have made the transition to F1 as if she was born for it. OK, Kelly, really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. Now, just to put this out there, this is my least, or this is one of my least favourite tracks. And I'm, I'm very bad at this track, so I'm not that quick. But as you saw, oh, see, I just hit the wall. But now our objective is to catch up to our teammates uh, Aiden Jackson before lap 8 and it's lap 5 so we've got 3 laps to catch up to him We now, or I come back to talk on lap 6 when we uh, about to overtake Aiden Jackson into turn 1 on lap 7. But before I do that, we get put into a cutscene. Here comes Callie Mayer closing in on her teammates. She's practically on top of me. Aiden, calm down. You're on different strategies. Just let Callie pass. Okay, Callie. Aiden's going to let you pass at the next corner. Let's go. Copy. Will Mayer get past her teammate now? Here she comes, but there's contact! Contact between the two Connor Sport drivers! Jackson's out, he gets the worst of it, Mayer's clear! Oh, Jackson's damage looks bad, I think you're right, Crofty, his race is over. Mayer seemed to catch Jackson unawares, though. I'm not sure why. What was that? Why didn't she wait for me to move over on the exit? OK, Aiden, are you all right? It's just another butler. Yeah, I know, Kelly. I'm sorry about that, but it's happened now. It's over. Let's get your head down and focus. Come on. We'll talk about it later. Copy. Well, now we're on lap seven. We've, we hit the two Connor Sport drivers, hit each other, and Aiden Jackson is very mad at us, because, and he said that we're basically like Devin Butler, who was a terrible person. But now our objective is to get into tenths, and we're about to do that. So I'm going to aim for the bonus, which is to get into eighths. So wish me luck. Well, there we go. I'm now in eighth. So I don't. I think I gain one more position after this, which is right here. But then I don't gain any more positions of this overtake. I'm going to skip to the end of the race. It was a it, it was a good race, apart from the fact that me and, and Aiden walloped each other into probably one of the most complicated sections of the track. But we can, if we had one more lap, we would just be able to overtake Alonso. But we have DRS down the main straight. We try to overtake him, use all our ERS and use DRS, but we don't. We just don't have enough track, and we come over the line to finish seventh. Says Kelly Mayer. The end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi.
and do you feel extra pressure at Connor Sport? It must be difficult with your dad looking over your shoulder. <sighs> Look, it's F1. It's not possible for me to feel any more pressure than I already do. So, no, it's not an issue. Kelly, have you felt any pushback from anyone in the F1 world, just with you being the first female driver in the sport? No, everyone's been amazing. And I'm not the first, I'm just the latest. How's your brother? Are you really just keeping his seat warm? Uh, you'd have to ask him that, um, but he is getting the help that he needs. And no, I have no intention of giving up this seat. What happened out there between you and Aidan today? Uh, it's just a mix-up. Um, I, I thought he was letting me through on the entry, but he clearly had other ideas. We spoke to him earlier, and he said it was deliberate on your part. Any comment on that? Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. You've always gone by mayor, and now you're in a team financed by your father, driving in your brother's seat. Would you go back to the butler name? Should have expected it, right? I thought you did. That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm a woman. I get it. I'm happy to talk about it. Then what is it? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? So you're a woman, and then every question about Dad, about Devon, about the butler, name. Just forget about it. Oh, I can never get away from it, can I? The only question about the race was about Aiden. Well, you know, maybe if we'd let it run a little longer, there would have been... Casper? Don't defend them. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <sighs> Look, it's fine. I'll be faster next time. The incident at Baku, do you think she did it on purpose? She did do it on purpose. Yeah, check the footage. So you didn't warm to her? We weren't the best of friends, no. Well, there we go. Aiden Jackson foreshadows that they won't have the best career relationship together in Connor Sport. But we're interrupted by another phone call. This is just a. Hey, Mum. Callie, I couldn't be prouder, darling. Well done. Oh, thanks, Mum. It was a good race. Felt great out there. Oh, it was a, a good, good race. Oh, uh, no, what is it? What, what do you mean, what is it? What's what? I can hear it in your voice, Mum. It was a good race. No, it's nothing. Go on. No, no, it's just that... You didn't do it on purpose, did you? <laughs> when you clipped poor Aiden. I can't believe you're even asking me. Did you really raise your daughter to behave like that? Well, I'm really not sure. It was an accident, Mum. I'm, I'm hanging up. Oh, of course it was. I... Bye, darling. Lots of love. Bit more spice added to this career mode. Uh, Kylie Mayer had a bit of hey, boss. Uh, had a bit of a you. rough patch just there with her mum, because she said or she suggested that she hit Aiden on purpose. But now it's time. Well, not we're not going to the next race just now, but we're going to the next race in a bit. So I will just. I'll leave this on screen thing where I answer questions, but yeah. Andreo? You seen this latest article doing the rounds today? Three weeks later and the press are still going with narrative of the rivalry at Connorsport. Still! They just need an angle for Silverstone. Paid no attention. But they're right, aren't they? It's not like Kali and Aiden are suddenly treating each other like teammates. They just need time. It took me a while to warn to Aiden back in the day. Well, that's because you were a grumpy old man. <laughs> yeah. Well, something's never changed, I guess. Ha! <laughs> now you're just grumpier and older. I'll leave you to it. Ciao. Bye. All of a sudden, everyone, everyone's just getting angry at another person. But now it's time to onto the next race, which is in Silverstone. What is Aiden's problem? Okay, we'll have a word. He's been so late into these corners, I have no space out here. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to him, Kelly. This is still about Baku, isn't it? Now, unlike Azerbaijan, I love Silverstone. It is probably one of my best tracks. So, I think I'd basically instantaneously overtake Aiden Jackson. 
and our objective is to overtake Aiden Jackson before lap 9 and the bonus is getting top 10 now as I've always got the bonus I'm going to try getting to the top 10 but it'll, I do that corner a bit wrong but I'm still gaining on Aiden Jackson through Magnuson Beckett's this is not the best part of the tr this is probably my worst part of the track but I've still gained time get DRS and then instantly overtake him oh I hit him a little bit but instantly overtake him and leave him in the dust but now like usual I'm just gonna show small clips of me overtaking absolutely everyone hopefully I overtook three people in one lap, so here we go. Uh, I catch up to them. I catch up to Zhou Guan Yu on, or just oh, don't want to have a repeat of Silverstone 2021. We don't. I get past Zhou Guan Yu before cops, and now it's time to track down Fernando Alonso through Margaret and Beckett. I think I get him through it. See, I go. Oh, I could have gone around the outside, but. Once again, like I did with, I think it was Gasly, I wait till the hangar straight and zoom past Fernando Alonso. Now I come back. Hello, everyone. Uh, we've gained the load. We gained a load of positions, and onto the last lap, I tried to overtake on the clear. Go check on the outside of the last corner. Go on the gravel, but I still went side by side with him through the first corner. Go went off. Went a bit off, but still got the overtake. I tried. Let I let him through, so it wouldn't be illegal. I then did it legally, and now it's time to try to overtake Ocon. Now I'm, I'm aiming for the podium positions, but I don't think I'll be able to get or gain two seconds on Russell. But then I think this is the Wellington Strait. On the Wellington Strait, I go round the outside, and uh, for hint hint, I don't get the podium, but I get fourth. Lewis Hamilton wins the race. I nearly lose fourth right at the end, but he comes across the line as Kelly Mayer once again to finish fourth in the Silverstone or British Grand Prix. Callie, this is your first ever F1 race at Silverstone in front of the home fans. So just try to put into words what that means to you. Yeah, I mean, just to see the number of fans cheering for me really spurred me on today. And I used to come here as a little girl to watch the races, so it really means everything. It's a dream come true, to be honest. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it was tight out there once again between you and Aiden. You're not giving each other much space, are you? Yeah, um, I've decided I'm not going to focus any more energy on Aiden. If he wants to start working more closely with me, then he can come and talk. But I think all I can do right now is just focus on my own driving. 
Now, naturally, there has been a lot of speculation about the role of your father, Davidoff Butler, in securing your seat at Connor Sport. Just what do you say to the critics? OK, <laughs> well, um, look at Gasly, Leclerc, Russell, and now everyone's suddenly surprised that an F1 team signed an F2 champion. I'm here because I can drive. People need to get a grip. That's great, thank you. Well, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. See you then.